Hey guys, welcome back to Blackwell Deception. We're on part three, and uh, let's load our game. Let's restore. No monies. So last we got a call from Sam 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 Jurgens. I think it is. Um. Oops. I have to get used to this still. So. Sorry, guys. So, Jeremy. Oh, wait, no, no. Hi, you've reached Jeremy Sams. Please leave a message. I don't need any of those. There's nothing in there worth taking. I don't hey. have time to do any writing. And if I need to use the internet, I've got my phone. See, this is something I don't understand. The phone shouldn't be able to work because of Joey. Like the internet and stuff. Doesn't he mess with signals? I guess he moved away for the phone call, but still. And then another thing is, didn't she just jump into the river with her phone in her pocket? I mean, unless Joey can hold it. Say something. She didn't say anything about the picture. She did, you can just look at him. One more time in there. He looks pissed. Okay, I got. I'm not tired. Are you sure you're not tired? I don't need to buzz anyone in. Does that mean somebody's gonna come to our house? Awesome. Uh oh, now we click on stuff on our phone. Alright, let's go to Jeremy's. It's open. Jeremy on Sams. I wonder. I'll be out in a sec. I think he might have something to do with the last Is one. Is this how high rolling reporters live nowadays? Yep. Hmm? <laughs> Sorry, Sorry about, about that. that. I haven't been feeling well, as I said. Who's your friend? Uh. Is something wrong? <laughs> Jeremy? Are you dead? I certainly feel sick enough to be dead. Ugh. I haven't been able to leave the apartment in two days. I just caught a nasty bug or something. Horrible timing. I'm on the verge of something really big. That's why I need your help. Holy <laughs> You need our help, all right. Sorry, but who are you? I'm with her. This is Joey. He's kind of my... Um... Friend. And he just tagged along? Yes, it's kind of his thing. I see. Mm -hmm. Well, it's nice to meet you, Joey. I like the hat. Anyway, how about we get down to business? Are you sure there's nothing else wrong with you? It's just the flu. Nothing to worry about. And it's I'll be fine in a few days. I just want to get this article submitted before it's too late. Okay. Well, let's... All right, Jeremy, tell me about this article of yours. Brilliant. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Do you know where the City Post news office is? I think so. This flu is making it hard to remember everything, but I kept pretty good notes. Just go up there and tell them I sent you. My notebook is on my desk. I go myself, but... I'm not exactly up to snuff. Snuff is the word. Uh -huh. Joey! What? So what do you say? Will you help me? Uh... Yes, of yeah. course I'll help. It's what I do. Um. <sighs> I used to work with Jeremy back in the village. I daze, and now he's dead. Not exactly the way I envisioned seeing him again. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, I better get going. Thanks. Thanks. I really appreciate this, Rosangela. Uh, is yeah, this... look, you can call me Rosa. All right, Rosa it is then. Uh, can I use your... So is he in there? Oh, I wouldn't go in there. The bedroom's a total sty. I've been too sick to clean up. Sure, no problem. Yeah, I think he's in there. Hey, look. 
Before you go, I just want to, well, apologize. Apologize? I know it's a bit weird calling you up and asking you such a big favor like this. Don't worry about it. Well, when I'm over this flu, I'll make it up to you. I promise. I think he's hitting on no, me. No, you don't have to do that. Really. really? Just, Nor can you. Just take care of yourself. Well, that was unexpected. Yeah, I suppose. You know where that newspaper office is? Yeah. Uh, then let's hop to it. So, if he's dead, how did he call me? Because unless he called me right before he died, he just, like, suddenly up and, like, just... Oh, that's creepy. That's a creepy thought. Okay, city post. <laughs> this lady right here? Could I help you? She's got derp face. Derp face. Derp. Uh, ask about... What do you know about Jeremy Sams? Jeremy? He works here. His office is just up there on the second floor, uh, but I haven't seen him in a few days. So you don't know where he is now? I have no idea. If you'd like to leave him a message, I'll let him know you stopped by. Well, it's not exactly... Okay, if I tell him about Jeremy's death, then... Sorry, I'm getting on the bed. I am subject to being accused of it. So let's ask I to go- I was told you'd be expecting me. My name is Rose Angela Blackwell. <sighs> Sorry, I wasn't told anything. Really? I need to go inside and pick up some notes. Sorry, but if you don't have permission to be here, I can't let you in. Really? Cause... I really do need to see Jeremy's notes. Maybe you could get them for me? No, I can't. Really? Because now you're just lazy. Do you know anything about Jeremy's death? Huh? Jeremy's death. I'm kind of looking into it. Jeremy's dead? Are you serious? You mean you don't know? Of course not. What happened to him? I'm not sure. What do you mean you're not sure? How did he die? What happened? I don't know. Where is he now? I don't know. Right. This is sick. I think you should get out of here before I call security. Right. That's my girl. Making friends wherever she goes. I guess I shouldn't have... Could I ask you a few questions? I don't think so, no. Just leave, please. I'll be going, I guess. Bye. The conversation would be a little one-sided. Yeah, come on, blow some air or something. No reaction. I guess with the door open like that, a breeze is nothing new. When I feel like it, not much of a... What do you want me to do, scare it? Yes. Not much I can do in... How about up here? That looks... That does not look like a notebook. What is this? Press pass. <gasps> Genius! Yeah! I can't what? touch it. No, but you can Not blow sure what on blowing it. on that will achieve. Really? Really you're gonna do this to me, Jeremy? I mean, Joey. Not shut sure up. what blowing on that will achieve. <sighs> I fucking hate you. Okay. We're gonna have to climb the office then. There's the notebook. I wish I could, but I can't pick it up. It's the notebook that Jeremy asked us to find. It's closed right now. I can't read what's inside. Great. Can't you, like, ghost through it or something? Oh. Wait. Go back in. Look at his computer. What does the post-it note say? 7 p.m. The High Line. This could be it. It's one of them computer things. Even if I could use that, I wouldn't know how. True. One of them computer things. Joey gives me a lot of sass, but I really like him. There's nothing down that hallway I need to see. Really? Are you sure? Let's leave. Um, hmm. um what do you think? Oops. None unless I buzz you in first. And in case you hadn't noticed, I'm not doing that. Bitch, I swear to God, if you die, I'd be so happy. Okay. 
Jeremy <laughs> looks very dead. Let's go to the high line. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Excuse me, officer? It's Detective. Detective Durkin. And you shouldn't be up here at this hour. <coughs> Durkin! Okay, so if you guys don't remember Durkin, um, I don't remember his first name, but I'm pretty sure that Lauren had something to do with that. Someone died, didn't they? Gee, what tipped you off? Believe me when I say you don't want to be involved. I... Did something happen here? No, I'm doing street art. Of course something happened. You should run along home. You don't want the same thing to happen to you. Are you threatening me? Cause, let me tell you, Mr. Durkin, I will fucking take you down. Could you tell me who it was? Couldn't, even if I wanted to, because we don't know. So it's, uh, what do you call it, uh, John Doe? Yeah, sure, whatever. God. Right, I'll be back. It's a free country. Detective Durkin? Yeah? Ugh, I'm gonna regret doing that. I think that. I know who the victim was. You do, huh? His name was Jeremy Sams. And how do you know this? I... just do. You just do. Ish. What is it about Pox that brings out all the crazies? Yeah. Right. Leave. I'll be back. It's a free country. Fucker. Well... Detective Durkin? Yeah? Ugh, I just can't. I'm positive the victim is Jeremy. Maybe I can ID the body. You wanna come look at the body? Yeah. You know how crazy you sound? I do. You come out of nowhere and say you know a stiff by looking at an outline on pavement? Yeah, sounds crazy. Even if you could ID the guy, it wouldn't hold up. I'm offering information here. Why won't you take it? You think you're the only crackpot with a theory? We have procedures. We'll release a photograph, and then get a proper ID. Now run along. Fuck you. Right. I'll be back. It's a free country. Ugh. Let's leave. Joey. What does Joey have to say? I can't talk to him. He can't hear me. I... He look... must be investigating whatever happened here. I just wish I knew why he looks so familiar. Exactly! It's from it looks the... like a murder scene, and I'm afraid I know whose. Let's get out of here. Where do we go? I guess we go home. Oh, great. Let's hey, talk. Joey? What is it? Jeremy Sams. Never thought I'd see him again. Technically, you still haven't. It's true. <laughs> I can't believe that detective won't let me ID the body. It's not that strange a request, is it? Well... Maybe you came on too strong. You're not exactly a people person, are you? Whatever. So what's your advice? A picture speaks a thousand words, so they say. Do you have a picture of Jeremy? Oh, no, but maybe I can track one down somewhere. Mm. This is very jazzy, like, for my... Let's see. This is weird music, too. Um... That's all. Yeah. Let's see what my notes are. Jeremy and the Highline are obviously connected somehow. Oh, because he went to the Highline at 7. Do I have more email? New! Miss Backwell. Oh. <laughs> I knew contacting a spiritualist was a stupid idea, but I didn't expect this to happen. No sooner do I contact you than my yacht is in pieces on the Jersey Shore. I'm glad I had the foresight not to give you my name. Don't try to find me. I certainly won't be looking for you. Mm. Hello from Japur. This trip has been really wonderful. I'm doing a terrible Nishanti accent. But I'm really looking forward to heading home. I am not the world traveler I used to be, it seems. And I'm sure poor Moti is raising a hell at the kennel. Either way, I wanted to check in. We'll have to have dinner when I get back. Nishanti. Hmm. Oh. Uh, I 
can't believe you wrote me about the lot. Mm. Mm. So does he know I wrecked his yacht? Uh what about what's this photo? Hmm. This makes me sad. Wait. How does he have a ghost cigarette? Sorry, I like that. Okay, so I think we have enough for episode three. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you like this series. Um, suggest to me some more games. I have a list, but it could be longer. See you next time, guys.